welcome back to Stasis Geek. I know what you're thinking. Thumbnail, The Flash. Why are you doing it now? It's a bit old, isn't it? Well, not for me. Because <laughs> I've just seen it. Now, why? Because as a parent of a two-year-old, you don't get much time to go to the cinema. So, I've had to watch it on the small screen. But, I wanted to just give my take on it, really. Because... It's a, it's not a bad movie. It's not a great movie. It is one that you're watching and you'll forget mostly about the flash and the plot line. Because this movie is a mismanagement. And it's sh it is so shown on the reshoots and trying to be saved by the editors. The editors have done a good job piling in this mess. Now, there are goods. And there are bads. The worst part of this is the undertone plot. You know, it's a bit lackluster. The great things are the nostalgic parts, to be honest. Now, if we had to go what's good and bad, Ezra Miller as The Flash, and I don't like his rendition as The Flash. I find it too over-the-top quirky and a bit too much the comical undertone. So for that, I don't like it. But for him in it as the Flash, portraying the Flash and the two Flashes, spoilers, is good. It is, he does it well. Now, the oh, bit that you gripe is, love the media for it, don't like him, do like him, is the undertone of that betrayal in the real world. Because you can't get away from it. It's kind of stuck in the back of your teeth. So that is a problem whilst watching this movie. Now, spoilers. Always spoilers because it's been out for a while. Now, the CGI is beyond bad. Beyond bad. It is poor. Now, there was a comment. I can't remember if it was executive producer or director or whatever said... It was supposed to be like that. And it will look better once it's on the small screen. It it doesn't. You know, it, the screen's not like that. <laughs> it's not like an 80s bloody TV. So, it still looks bad. The, the ones... The, the cross between the two flashes, I suppose, that, you know, Barry Allen's, looks quite... You know, looks good. You know, them they're together. Whoever's done that, it looks really good. The multiverse kind of time jump area, when they get to that, and every time he transitions fast into the Flash, because guessing, looks kind of awful. The the multiverse, I, I'm guessing arena, I'm going to call it, is really bad. It is really, really poor. It's It kind of dr drags you out of this movie. And makes you not feel like you're in a movie. It's kind of... It's very strange. Because you're like enjoying the movie in the real world. And as soon as they get to that. It takes you out and makes it look so fake. That you're like... Oh, I'm, I'm, why, am I just, why am I watching? It's like two different entities together. So that's a shame. It is really a shame that they couldn't just slick that up. I don't get why that had to be full CGI. They could have just put old TV boxes everywhere and then just did every single one's a multiverse or something like that. It would have been much more quirkier and interesting. So that's it. The other great things about this is, well, it's a great thing and it's a, they didn't know what to do. It's Batman. <laughs> Michael Keaton's Batman runs, when he comes in, he owns this. He owns this. And it makes you call out, and I've heard it before, give us Batman. Give us that Batman. Because he's awesome in it. You know, even the parts where it's blatantly not him because he ain't going to move that way because of his age. Um, it's seamless. Yeah, they've done it dark shot. They've done it really well. But him as Bruce Wayne and then into Batman worked really well. I loved it. And yeah, that, that kind of his chemistry with everybody on set you could tell that kind of because he's batman and yeah that was good but that's the best part they are the best parts that little ooh, ooh, ooh! look at that oh how they did that whoa yes you know it brings you back and it makes you go liking it liking it 
the bat girl, I'm going to think. The only thing, and my girlfriend picked it up first, and she's done it in the industry, is she didn't like the suit. <laughs> Straight away, don't like the suit. And that's the only thing. It was mostly don't like the suit, why she not blonde. <laughs> that's what I was like. I was about to say that. So, yeah, there's my only criticisms about that. She played it really well. She did it really, I thought she did the, uh, a little, a little scenes, weren't they, really? A lot of it are CGI, but the little bit she did, did really well. But, yeah, didn't like suit, blonde hair. That's it, because you, your brain just wants that, and it's a bit bizarre. Um, the only other things, really, except for, the, say, the, the plot diminishes, because you get this under, you get the first, It's you think it's time travel, that you can time travel back, and then you, no, it's not, it's different multiverses. Yeah, and that's the whole premise of they're trying to, you're trying to go back, save his mum, and then it all goes awry because he's in a different multiverse that is going to be destroyed, whatever they do. And the other Barry Allen, yeah, tries to do that over and over again. But apart from that, there's a couple of bits you have to pick up on. One, Wonder Woman's at the start. Uh, and it's a bit pointless <laughs> there to just be there kind of I'm, I'm guessing this is supposed to be a device like um alfred kind of goes in if it plunges in the water whilst batman saving things there's like ben affleck's batman at the start um yeah like kind of liked him in the gray kind of um and then she turns up has her snotty remarks lasso of truth then goes and you're like bit odd just stuck in there bit odd and then at the end right at the end you have aquaman and it's a multiverse kind of aquaman <laughs> and he's just a drunken now it looks like somebody just turned up and set drunk and they went we'll just do this yeah just go down that alleyway and we'll shoot there because he's off his trolley and he doesn't want to be here it's a bit odd then you go through what has been reported on, you know, when they go at the end and the multiverse kind of starts to break, you have all the different Batman, Batmans and Supermans. And, and, and a Flash. And then you just ponder. You just... Hmm. Hmm. Somebody's missing. Now, I'm not all about the TV Supermans because you think this is in a, a verse E multiverse that exists the justice league so you've got those characters so you would expect and it was rumored that henry cavill came back to shoot and then you're like where is he <laughs> did i miss something now if i have missed something at the credit credit credits then you have to let me know but i was like did they just on him I think they did from a very high, high, high building. And he won't leap over that. Ugh, it's going to be messy. So, yeah, that was a bit odd that they had the Justice League kind of elements. You know, and it, it was stupid. You could, I don't get why they did that. It must have been a call from James Gunn at one point to say, yes, no, no, yes, you can do that, you can do that. You know, those... It was just a bit odd, you know, they like cyborg and all that, you know, elements. It's no, yes, yes, no. So I, I don't get that. But yeah, overall, this movie, it's a mess, but it's enjoyable. But you're going to truly forget it and then remember all the Batman bits. Because this, if truth be told, this would have been better your feeling when Batman comes in, I want a Batman. Give me Batman and then put the Flash in it to do the, I need your help. You know, that would, you know, an elderly kind of, not aging, I suppose, not elderly, aging Batman. And then the Flash comes, I need your help. Something's happened. You know, that would have been more interesting, you know, or even that. And then you could have, uh, introduce a Robin character as well. Oh, there's so many. <laughs> do it. Give it to Tim Burton. Do it. It's, yeah, um, apart from that, 
that you're just going to forget. You know, Ezra Miller, you're going to forget the parts that he's in. Even though they're entertaining whilst you watch them, they're just not interested in it enough to, with, you know, hold it up there because it is. Same as Supergirl, they, they're good parts. You know, it's all kind of, oh, they're good, fun bits. Forgettable. You know, the intro, the most, the best bits for the Batman are what you saw in the trailer. And it's just like, ooh. Ooh, Batman, but yeah, so that's um, it's a shame that kind of like what we got now, Aquaman, the next movie, whenever that is, to end the kind of Snyderverse, I suppose that's it. But yeah, but yeah, late to the game. But that's my take. So give us a comment. I know you probably heard it before, but there we go. There's my take on it. So yeah, see what you think. You missed, if I missed Henry Cavill, let us know, because I'm going to rewind it and go, eh. there's, there's that bit on the TV, I get that, but that's just CGI, that could have been anyone, you know, any Superman, because so, no, I'm not counting that, I'm not counting that, but yeah, yeah, it ain't great, but yeah, give us a like, if you want to like, and as always, Stasis Geek, out. <laughs>